I just wanted to share my experience going to a mega church, or at least it's a it's a large church. Uh, I felt like God wanted us to go there. Uh, it was this last weekend, and that morning, God kept putting it on me. He kept saying, "Light." He kept putting it on me in my time in the Word. He kept giving me the word light over and over again. And so I got the hint, okay, I'm supposed to focus on light today. Yep, focus on light. Um, so I went to church thinking that maybe the, the sermon was gonna be on light or something like that. Well, during the worship, it was, you know, tons of lights, the whole deal, you know, that any mega church would have, like really a rock concert is what it is. And God spoke to me during that time and wanted me to take inventory of all the light in the building. And so I looked around and I saw, uh, I saw all the lights. I saw different colored lights up on the ceilings. I saw lights on the walls. I saw lights focused on the main worship leader and some of the instrumentals. And there were lots of lights all over the place. And then I noticed that there weren't really any windows and there were windows in the doors. There were like these little thin, narrow windows that were in the doors and there were maybe four or five doors. So there was a little tiny bit of light coming through. And so the thought came into my mind, how much of this light is actually true light, is actually natural light, you know, that would actually make plants grow and that sort of thing. Well, it was very little. It was very little. It was only, like I said, coming through these narrow windows in, in just a few doors. And I thought, okay, out of all this light, all this is just artificial light. I mean, yeah, there's a little tiny bit of light coming through, but for the most part, it's all just artificial, man-made light. And I realized that God was speaking sort of a parable to me. I realized that he was saying, that's the way it is in these large churches. You know, Jesus didn't have large gatherings. And when he had large gatherings, like in John 6, he turned them away by telling them that they had to eat of his flesh and drink of his blood, right? That is abiding in Christ. That's that's not only talking about communion, but also that we have to abide in Christ. And 1 John 3, 24 says, how we abide in Christ is keeping his commandments. So they didn't like that. John 6, 6, 6 Christians, um, there's a lot of them out there. And they don't like to be told they have to abide in Christ by eating his flesh and drinking his blood. So, uh, and, and by the way, I'm not Catholic or anything like that, but I just believe what the Bible says. Um, but so I was taking inventory of all this light and I realized it was a parable that God was trying to show me in these huge mega churches. Yeah, they have a little bit of light coming through. They have a little tiny bit, little, you know, a few slivers of light coming through. Uh, light in the Bible often represents truth. So yeah, you know, people say, well, my pastor preaches truth. Well, there is some truth in that. I mean, most pastors preach at least some sort of truth, but overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, it was artificial man-made light. It was, it was men trying to, so, so if you don't know, most megachurches, what they do is they shut out all the light they purposely either don't have windows or they cover up the windows so they can control the light in the sanctuary or whatever you want to call it. They they want to control the light, right? And they want to put their man-made lighting in the church. So what ends up happening is there's very, very little real light. And if you think about it, what do plants need to grow? So we're, we're often compared to uh, or at least the parable of the four soils. The word of God is sown in our hearts, and that is that represents the, the word of God being sown in our hearts. Well, if you think about it, every plant needs light. Praise God, we got light coming in right there. Every plant needs light. Thank you, Jesus. Um, it, it needs light to grow, and unless it's some sort of special halogen bulb or whatever kind of bulb, it's not going to grow with artificial light, right? It's not going to grow just with the lighting they use for, you know, different colored lights to 
cast up on the ceiling and the walls and all that. This is artificial light. Now, if you were to ask somebody, they would say, well, yeah, it's light, you know? I mean, I mean, what's the problem? My church has light. What's the problem? It has truth. What's the deal? But the problem is most of that light, yes, there is a little bit of truth, but most of the light is man-made. It's artificial light. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Now, listen, I'm not trying to say that this is a one-to-one -one comparison that, hey, if your church has a lot of windows, some people out there might be saying, hey, my church has got a lot of windows. We got a lot of truth. Okay, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that just because your church has windows that it automatically means you have truth, okay? I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, um, that what happens is the, just in general, this is a this is a parable. It, it's not meant to say, okay, if your church has a lot of lighting, then it's automatically preaching the truth. It's just a parable. It's just a, it's just an example that hey, this particular church. I mean, because there's a lot of churches out there that have a lot of windows, but are but are preaching demonic doctrine, right? So that's not what I'm talking about. But it's talking about in general these mega churches. What they do is they shut out the light, and this is this is an allegory, so to speak. They shut out the light, the natural light, and want to bring in their artificial light, their man-made light. They wanna control what kind of light or what kind of truth gets out to the people, right? And, and it looks better. I mean, I mean, it looks, it looks really fancy to have all these nice colored lights and different patterns and all this. And, 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 and what is it shining on? It's shining on the performers on stage. Think about it, guys, are you hearing me? The light, the artificial light they have is shining upon the performers that are delivering a performance to the people that are sitting in the audience. I mean, that's what it is. It's a performance, right? They're, they're putting on a show. They're putting on a performance and there's there's actors up there. There's, there's hypocrites, right? Hypocrite in the Greek, it means actor. So there's actors up there and they're putting on a good, uh, a good show for you. Most pastors will say they're they're hypocrites, right? They'll admit that they're actors. Again, that word means actor. So they'll they'll readily admit that they're actors. They're not trying to hide it from you. They'll say, oh, you know, everybody's sinner. Um. So that's what's going on. That's 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 what God showed me. It doesn't mean. Listen again. It doesn't mean if there's a mega church out there that has a lot of windows. That, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, guys, don't don't mistake me. Don't mistake my words. Um. I'm saying that God used this to show me um, that this is the this is the spiritual state. If, if you don't have spiritual eyes, you're not going to be able to see this. You're not. You're going to be focused on just the physical. But I'm talking spiritually. This is what God showed me is going on spiritually in most churches today. They're blocking out the light, the 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 spiritual light, the spiritual truth of God's word. And yeah, they may have a little bit in there. But overwhelmingly, it's man-made, it's artificial, it's doctrines of men, doctrines of demons, and it's not the light of God. It's not gonna help you grow, right? It's not, it's not like real light, it's not gonna help plants grow, but it gives you the illusion that it's real light, right? Like all the spotlights that are shining on the performers up there, it, it gives you the illusion that it is, um, hey, look, look, we're gonna grow because look at all this light so it's easy to to get caught up in that think that this is going to really help you grow um when i mean there may be some plants that may be able to survive in just a tiny bit of light uh, i'm sure there are you know the, the little bit of the windows that had little slivers of light coming through i'm sure there's some flowers or plants that could survive in just minimal amount of light but most people most plants and most people need a, a lot of light right so that's that's sort of the idea of what God showed me. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if, if you guys have had any experiences with these mega churches or these large churches. Let me know what you think. Did you uh, did you are, are you seeing the same sort of things? Let me know in the comments down below. God bless you guys.